this weekend I'm going to be driving the Bend again uh, in another one of Zane's cars. He's bought a Lexus IS200 and it's been sitting around at his mate's place for a really, really long time before he bought it. Zane's researched a couple little mods and stuff. Uh, there's like a module that you can remove or do something to uh, to get better throttle response. Um, he's put some coilovers in it as well and washed it. So I think that's pretty much everything that's going to be done to it. It's going to be underpowered but it doesn't really matter too much because it's scheduled to be raining on Saturday. I'm pretty excited. All the girls are going to be driving. The whole Glitter Gang is actually driving this weekend, which is the first time that's ever actually happened. Um, I'm a little bit sad that it won't be in my own car, but at the same time, I'm driving, so that's all that really matters. I'm looking forward to the skid pan mostly. I'm a bit concerned about the open track. I'm just hoping that I can get it to do like the base level thing. So if it does that, awesome if it doesn't i'll probably be really frustrated yeah we haven't tested the handbrake or anything i think it's just going to be a lot of uh weight shifting and yeah the weather's definitely going to be on my side for that and i think it should just be a lot of fun really just to have the opportunity to throw something around that really doesn't matter obviously the panels are of concern um because this is the car that he's going to be building into his next drift car but he said he doesn't care if I blow up the motor, which I know he actually does because as soon as I drive it, he's going to be keen to drive it and see what he can get it to do um, with its stock power. So, yeah, which I think he'll probably have fun because it's, it's nice to go backwards sometimes um, and then, yeah, see how far it can push you forwards.
back engine light's already on. Is that funny with him? No, I don't think so. No, I think she just wants me to see if it is driftable. Legitimately harder to steer than like the V6 Commodore U. <laughs> I, I guarantee the, the standard V6 Commodore U makes this thing feel like a friggin' like a go-kart always. It's just it's so twitchy that once it starts to go around it just doesn't have any torque to overcome it. I'm terrified.
fine. <laughs> Just watching you do that. Oh, you're probably fucking being thrown around just as much. Yeah.